Okay, now that we have NixOS installed, uh, there's not much going on here, obviously. So we need to start installing some stuff. Now, I know you're gonna wanna go ahead and uh, if you're familiar with um, Linux, wanna do like, oh, do I do, let, let's say like I wanna run HTOP, right? Oh, it's not found, right? It's not installed. NixOS uh, by default is pretty minimal, which is nice. And so you might be tempted to do sudo apt install htop. Like, oh, what's what's the version of of you know apt or pacman for um, for NixOS? And the answer is there is none. And that's because NixOS is um, declarative. So the apps that are installed, I'm first gonna. There's a couple different ways to install apps. Obviously, um, there is the apps from the NixOS repo. Then there are flatbacks, and then there are app images. Obviously, there might be some other fringe cases here, but those are the three main ones uh, that I want to cover. So the first thing is the NixOS packages, and that's going to be kind of your first line of defense of um, what you want to do. So let's do. I just go to you know search for NixOS packages, and what you're going to see here is. A nice big search. There are a ton of NixOS packages. So let me just type in htop. And then we can see, you know, we, uh, pretty much anything you want to search for um, is, is probably here. For me, I like installing all my system level stuff um, through, um, through Nix packages. Uh, I like to install some of my kind of Mm, not critical GUI apps via fill app pack. So like Spotify, Telegram, um, Slack, stuff like that. I do flat pack, um, but you can do you can do them here if you want as well. So I just don't necessarily want them having access to everything, but you can go ahead and you can search for pretty much whatever you want here. Um, so I'm gonna do htop here. Now you're gonna see, uh, this is a kind of a special time to do this too, because you're gonna see a couple different things here. So let's go to htop here, right? And we see it's version 3.3. Um, uh, htop might not be a good example because it hasn't changed very much. Um, but what you're gonna see here is channels. So I'm gonna get into that in a minute, but first let's go ahead and install htop. So there's two different ways to do this. I'm gonna pop over to my terminal and let's make this a little bigger just so it's easier to see. And um, let's say I don't want to install htop for good, I just want to check it out really fast. So if you want to really quick do it, so I type htop, it says command not found. Um, now I can type in, there's a tool called nix shell, and then I do dash p, and then I type in htop. And what that's going to do is it's going to put me into a, see how this said user at NixOS, and now it says Nix shell. So htop not found, but see downloaded it, and then put me into an environment where it is. So now I do have htop, so I can run that, right? Uh, I can say cool, whatever I want, and then I can type exit, and now I'm back to here, and htop is gone. So that's like a temporary shell that you can just drop into, and you can do multiple things there too. So you can do htop, like so right now, right? Um, fast fetch isn't installed, right? So I could type uh, nick shell dash p htop and then neo fetch, right? And then I can have it here as well. I did fast fetch, whatever, neo fetch. Um, and again, then you can exit and then you're back clean. But let's say I do want to install that and, and keep it in my system. It's like, I know I want to keep htop uh, and neo fetch or fast fetch around. So NixOS is based off of a config file. It's very declarative. So by default, you have nano installed, um, which is, uh, I, I hate nano. <laughs> so actually, you know what? This is a good thing. I love um, Helix. You can install NeoVim or whatever you want, um, or you can just use nano if you want to use nano. But I'm going to go ahead and install, I really like Helix. So I'm going to nix shell myself Helix, right? And then I'm going to do sudo hx. And the file you're looking for is Etsy, NixOS, and configuration. So this file basically describes your computer. So you can go ahead and that's basically what we did. In the install, it basically created this file and then built it. Uh, and so our installer set all of this up for us. So you can actually go through here. I think it's pretty cool to go through and, and look, you can see you can see the declarative nature of it, right? So like if you want to change your host name, you can do that here. Um, 
change your time zone, like all, all this kind of stuff is here. But then you'll actually get down to this area. Now there's two different places you can uh, install apps. So here in your users, so we made a user called user. So that user, we could declare apps for just that user. Um, you're probably not going to need that. What you're gonna do is environment system packages. So in here, I'm just gonna open up a new line and type in htop and uh, neofetch. So I'll go ahead and I'll save that and quit. So I don't have it installed anymore, right? So you can see, you know, it's still not there. Uh, and then the other command that we're gonna to wanna to do is sudo nixos dash rebuild. And this takes uh, some arguments and uh, you know, there's a couple arguments we'll get into. The first one is switch. So nixos rebuild switch. And what this says is go ahead, rebuild my system and switch to it right away. So we'll go ahead and do that. It shouldn't take too long because there's not that much new. That's what's cool is it doesn't rebuild the whole system. It knows what's changed in between these things. So it should just download the new stuff. But what's neat about this is the rebuild switch will restart services and stuff like that. Um, the only thing to watch out for with rebuild switch is if you make like a big change, like the kernel updates or something like that, you don't want to hot swap those things. <laughs> you want those to be, um, you know, on, on boot. And I'll show you how to do that. So yeah, so now here we go. Now we have htop installed. There you go. So now it's just in here. And I'll exit the shell so you can see that it's here too. So it's in our system now, right? Now, it's really interesting. So it's like, where did that go? One of the weirdest things about um, NixOS, if you're coming from a traditional type of um, Linux environment, is where stuff is installed. So if I typed in which htop, right you'll see where it is it's not in user bin right because uh, nixos is immutable so like i can't modify i can only modify certain things in the system um, but i cannot modify things in like user bin and so what happens is this slash run current setup sw bin right that's all your stuff that builds into the system so like you know all, all my thing and if I do you know which neo fetch it's gonna do in the same thing now where this goes I don't know if you want to geek out to where this is um, what's it XC Nix store that's not where it is yes here it is so Nick store. So all the stuff in your uh, computer is saved in the Nick store, and you know the versions of those, um, the versions of those as well. So let's do. So you can see I have HTOP 3.3, and you can see it right here. So that's actually where the file is, and then it goes ahead and maps it and puts it in your path, so you can be anywhere in your system and just type htop. So that's like the most basic way to install applications um, in, in NixOS. So real quick, let's go ahead and cover, I'll use nano for now because I don't feel like shelling in <laughs> Helix again. So nano, let's see, NixOS configuration. Remember I said that there was a, a way to do um, things on boot as well. So let's say I'm going to pretend here that you know I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna mess this up on purpose here real fast. So I'm gonna type in Visual Studio Code, right? And I'm gonna go ahead and save that. I just forgot how to do this in. Mm, yes. All right. So now let me do sudo nix os rebuild and I'm gonna type in boot. And so switch meant rebuild it and switch to it right away where boot means rebuild it but don't apply it until I reboot. So if you're doing a bigger change, obviously VS Code is not a big change. I would do a switch on that but just for argument of this demo. So I'm gonna type in this. Now I did something on purpose that it should catch. Ha, so it does not know, if you see this, 
Um, this is another good thing about uh, NixOS is that because you kind of have to build the system and compile it, it will catch any kind of conflicts, it'll catch any kind of errors. So Visual Studio Code is not what the package is called. So let me pop over to here and type in uh, VS Code and we can see it's called VS Code, not Visual Studio Code. Again, I did that on purpose just to show you what will happen if you go ahead and put in you know, the wrong name. It's not going to break anything on you. It just will um, just not work. VS Code, and go ahead and save that. Now, rebuild boot. Now, another thing while that's rebuilding, I am going to show you in here, it's uh, pretty interesting too, because you can click on more details below and it will show you actually uh, the platforms that it's available for. So especially if you're, if you're installing this like on like an M1 Mac or something like that, like it's nice to know, you know, what platforms it's available for. Uh, and then where does it say, um, provides no programs? Well, that's not entirely true, but some of these things will show what programs that it provides, like what executables um, it is. Da, 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 da. Yeah, so programs provided like HTOP, right? So in VS Code, uh, it's just code, right? Or again, it would be in here. But you'll notice that because I did boot, right, um, code is not found, and it's not found here as well. So let me reboot this real fast and show you. Now, while we're rebooting here, I also wanna show you, remember at first when we did the install, I said that your configurations will go. So if I go ahead and boot into this, it will go into my latest config. But if I go into here, you'll see, I'm starting to build up these configurations and they have a date and they have like a NixOS version. So if I went ahead and I booted into this, configuration two, um, I would be in the one we were just in. If I went into configuration one, that would be the bare minimum install where we had nothing installed. So it's very interesting. You can kind of hop around. Again, this is mainly for like if something blows up, you want to go back uh, to a different version. Um, you can do that. So I'm just boot into the latest one. And now I'm going to type in code and look at that Visual Studio code. So now it's installed. And obviously, if I go into the terminal, uh, code, you know, code runs from there as well. Um, and once again, if I type in which code, um, you'll see it's right in there. So it went ahead and it compiled all that stuff and symlinked it and we're all good to go. So that's the basics of uh, getting, getting that installed. Um, yeah, I'm gonna leave the video there and then talk about um, versions and updates of that as well.